All right, hey everybody. Wait for some people to get in here. See if also I balance my phone and get some books. Actually, I'll do it this way. That's all right. Maybe, possibly, perhaps. Okay. So, guys, I'm gonna be opening a, as you can see right here, Tops Baseball 2018 Series One. Uh, pack thing. It's 72 cards. Got them all right here. Let's see if I can get a little bit lower angle. Without too much. I'm trying to use all my books that I baseball related books that I have here. How about this so I can actually read the chat? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm not prepared. As prepared as I should be for this. I got these uh, in the mail today. I ordered them from MLB Shop. And we're going to see what I got here. So, first card is Bruce Maxwell um, of the Oakland A's. I'm actually not sure if he still is on the A's anymore. I know there was that controversy with him kneeling or whatever during the anthem. I think I have their Twitters on here, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, Bruce Maxwell, I'm going to go through these kind of fast just because there's not a whole lot of interesting things unless it's like a cool card. I mainly got this because I don't have any new players in my collection, so I figured this would be a good start. I have a lot of old school players I used to collect when I was younger. He's not on the A's, so I, yeah, I figured that. Uh, next we have Koji Uhara, I think I said that right. He was on Texas, yeah? while ago he's kind of old less than one runner per frame per base yeah he was uh i think he was on texas yeah i don't know i might be thinking of someone else but there he is there's the man next we have cesar hernandez second baseman for the phillies uh yeah, I'm, not, I'm really not going to say much about these guys. That's all. Rizel Iglesias? I've never heard of him. Doesn't even have a Twitter, man. Come on. Shut down closer. So he's... Okay, he's been on the Reds the whole time. Is he a starter? Uh, no. Nah, no, nah, that's just his whole... Okay. Never mind. That's kind of cool. Hunter Renfro, a little action shot card here. Outfielder for the Padres. There's his Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> That's kind of cool, honestly, that they do that. Mike Clevenger. I know he's for sure still on the Indians. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, they had that 22-game win streak not that long ago. Adam Wainwright, classic. He's not bad. He's had his ups and downs for sure, but he'll get you your innings. I mean, 241 innings pitched in 2013. That's solid right there. Jose Iglesias is our next card here. Plays for the Tigers still, I think. Hasn't really been in the majors that long. But he's he's pretty solid as well. Tigers, on the other hand, are not. They have a lot of work to do. Longo, Evan Longoria, long-time major leaguer at this point. Uh, he's just kind of been under the radar since they traded him to the Giants. Uh, but I'm guessing this was before. This must be like the 2017 cards that just came out in 2018. Because it's Series 1, so I'm guessing that means like the first uh, set or something. Jake Marisnik. Uh, what are you going to do about the Astros, man? <laughs> not not much to say there. Hey, here we go. Got a Shinsu Chu card. I thought that was a little dent in the corner. It's just a weird picture. Chu, very cool. Yeah, he doesn't have any social media, I don't think, officially. Been a good on-base guy with us so far. Uh, doesn't show on base, but it shows that OPS though. 827. God, he was 885 with the Reds. Oh, no, 
P.S. That's crazy. That's why they signed him, man. He was producing a lot. Uh, Mike Moustakas, one of the guys I want the Rangers to sign, hopefully. He's been solid. Uh, I think he has a team record. Yeah, team record for home runs on the uh, Kansas City Royals. These cards keep getting all flipped and whatnot. Uh, oh, geez. I like the style. I haven't collected baseball cards in years. Like I said, these all look really cool. Aaron Sanchez. He's something else. <laughs> Been injured past couple years, I think. We were talking to him, Mike. Yeah, Mike Mustakas. They've they got interest in him. If not him, at least try to get Josh Harrison. Avisail Garcia. All I know him from is when they had that outfield of all Garcia players. Yeah, he's actually slept on a little bit here. 885 OPS in 2017. Can't hate on that. Ivan Nova. I think, is he still on the Pirates? I think so. They gave him a decent deal, didn't they? All right, anyway. Next card, we got Javier Baez. He's a pretty cool. I actually follow him on Instagram just because he's, he's a cool dude. Uh, Yeah, these were definitely made before this year because they ain't got none of the uh, 2018 numbers on here. John Giso. Man, what happened to him? Is he still playing? Oh, Nova got traded? Where'd he go to? There's They make so many transactions, I really don't remember. But there's John Giso. Erod, Eduardo Rodriguez. He's been about average, honestly. Let's see what we got. Yeah, he's not bad. Not great, but I think he worked out of the pen mostly for Boston, at least last year. It looks like 17 when he was a starter. I don't remember, but I remember that he got traded. Okay, yeah. Todd Frazier. I'm not a huge Frazier fan. I think he's insanely overrated. I mean, I, I thought what he did in Cincinnati was cool, the whole home run derby thing. But I think he's a bit overrated, especially now. I mean, he's been in the league seven years, but he's hitting in the low 200s. Somehow ended up on the Yankees, though. Ah, Stanton, that 2017 MVP. Oh, okay, that's talking just about home runs. Yeah, he was, look at that. That was a crazier 20 home runs ahead of the next closest guy in the NL. I thought he was also the uh, major league leader, too, because not really anyone ever gets to 50-plus home runs anymore. Chris Davis got close, but usually doesn't happen that much. Another league leader's card, Charlie Blackman. For a batting average. Oh, yeah, he didn't, he didn't win that batting title. I don't remember who won it this year, but I know 2016 was DJ LeMayu, I believe. So a lot of Rockies getting some high batting average. Jackson Stevens, don't know who that is. Huh. Looks like uh, not doing so hot here. Interesting. Greg Allen, I have heard that name. Also a youngin. Seems like a lot of these cards are not, uh, I don't want to say shuffled, but I'm getting a lot of, like, see, I have the three RC cards, cards in a row. I don't know, like I said, a lot about, excuse me, a lot about the, uh, what's it called? Collecting the cards now, but there's Ahmed Rosario. He was killing it in the minors. That's why they had to call him up. He's got a—he's like he's pretty lanky, dude. Also, 
Definitely looks more like an old school baseball player. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cody Bellinger card. Uh, this was rookie of the year season then for him, yeah. 933 OPS, man. That's killer right there. Alright, we're not even halfway through this stack. People got a lot of cards left. Max Freed, Fried. <laughs> Don't know who that is. Another rookie. For Braves. Here's definitely one I do not know. Aaron Slagers. Minnesota Twins. Yeah, that's not a bad season. Starter, 3.4, 150 innings. Good record for Rochester. Here's one, Harrison Bader. He was pretty good this year. Um, for 2018, I mean, because a lot of these guys, like I said, I guess they made this before the season. Another Avisail Garcia card. He was, oh dang, he hit 330 in 2017. I didn't know that. That's that's pretty good right there. Nolan Arenado. Let me guess. RBI. Yep. Does it say it on the front? Because then I look stupid if it does. Okay, no, it doesn't. I was like, if I said that, okay. Anyway, he was right below Stanton. I think Stanton, let's, oh wait, this is American League. I don't know what Stanton hit in 2017. It was somewhere around the 270s. So he wasn't quite good enough to get a triple crown. Trey Turner, doing some good work. Uh, was this, yeah, he had debuted at this point. What do you steal, like, 46 bases? Crazy fast, dude. I believe he leads off. I don't know. But he is a fast man. Some more league leader cards here, it looks like. Uh, Charlie Blackman. Batting average? Oh, home runs. He was third with 37. All right. Legend card, Eric Davis. Did say two legend cards were guaranteed, I believe. Oh, no, legends in the making. I'm not sure who Eric Davis is. I feel like I should know that, though. Let's see. Equalizing his 27 homer 80 steal in one season in 132 games. Wow. And he came the first 30-50, man. That's insane. Definitely some legendary stuff, then. I think this is a repeat here, Rosel Iglesias. That is a repeat, I think. He only made 2018 of these cards. Hmm. Most valuable player, Jose Altuve. And I have his autograph, actually, from the World Series. Altuve fit every definition of most valuable leading Houston to World Series championship. He, oh yeah, he hit 346. Crazy. I think he was injured in 2018 uh, a lot, so he didn't quite do as well. Ooh, this is cool. Jose Barrios, Twins card. This kid's got a lot of potential. Oh, they made it like the old school ones. That's awesome. Yeah, he went off. His ERA is obviously higher than... Most would like it to be, but he's a great strikeout guy. Oh, there's the two Legend of the Making cards down there. You see, they're like all next to each other, but anyway. Ichiro. They don't even have to put his last name. You just know who the man is. 17 seasons. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, they got War on here. I just noticed that. I'm not sure why he wanted to keep playing. I know next year he wants to try to get back into it, but... Man, he is just like... He's too legendary. Don't want to ruin his career. So let's see who both of these are first, and then we'll take a peek. Chris Sale and Miguel Sano. Definitely true with Chris Sale. It depends on if Miguel Sano gets his stuff together. So let's see what they got on the back here. Sale punched out his 200th batter in 2017 in just 141 and a third innings. That's insane. Yeah, Chris Sale is on some GOAT stuff right now. What do you got to say about 
to know. Only four players younger than Sonar produced a two home run, six RBI game. Yeah, he he's still pretty young, I think. That's cool. Legend in the making. Those are really cool. Oops, a couple sideways cards here. Uh, David Peralta. I think I just realized that uh, these sets are supposed to be in order. <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to correct me on that when I put this on YouTube. Let's see, Peralta, he's not bad. Slugging 444, not great, but not awful. Put this like that, there we go, okay. We got the Haas, he should have stayed in Kansas City, man. Excuse me, I know the Padres have a bright future right now, but I don't know. This just looks so ugly in a Padres uniform. He's had some good years with KC, though, especially that World Series year, which actually statistically was not his best year, but just felt like he was a good leader and all that. Tyler Saladina, White Sox. Not bad. And the cards are upside down again. Got Dansby Swanson. Nice. For the Braves, of course. Lieutenant Dan, seven. Probably one of the funniest at names by an MLB player. He's part of that young uh, Braves court, too. They're going to do some good stuff here soon. Garrett Cooper, New York Yankees. Uh Dang, he was slugging 634 at Trenton and Scranton and Colorado Springs. Koopa Loop 1. All right, that's Garrett Cooper for you. Ah, classic Brandon Belt. He's good, and I think he's been on the down or the decline recently. He's kind of all over the place. Didn't he have a 12-hit game at some point or something crazy like that? I don't remember. It might have been him or it might have been Crawford. But that's uh, that's him for you. Ah, Jed Jerko. St. Louis Cardinals. He's pretty good, too. He's got insane power. At J Jerko 05. Now let's see. He hit 20 home runs in 125 games. Those are no, not as a rookie. But he's been all over the place. He's got a couple. Or he's had a 30 home run season and OPS of 734 in his career. Not too shabby. I think he's on the Padres now. Or no, he's still on the Cardinals. I mean, I don't know. Oh God. Yuli Gurriel and Garrett Cole, is that? Oh, I don't even, I can't even look at that card for more than three seconds. Hey, here's a good card. Bam, Gala walk-off, baby. That's actually really cool. With incomplete seasons from arguably their three biggest stars, Beltre, Hamels, and Darvish, 2017 Rangers scuffled to a 78-84 campaign. Providing confidence for the future were slugging sensations Gallo, Odor, Nomar, none older than 24. Yeah, but 2018 didn't go as well, <laughs> unfortunately. Cool card, though. Walker Bueller. He's insanely good as well. 17 was not, oh, I guess he was up and down, but his 18 campaign was good. Also, another funny at name, Bueller's Day Off. I mean, come on, right? You gotta have that. Chris Rowley, Blue Jays. Another rookie dude. Oh my god, y'all you you gotta stop with these Astros cards. I'm about to return those. <laughs> Only joking. World Series, George Springer. He did go off. Didn't he win MVP? Yeah. 
this was like that was an insane World Series. So many back and forth games. Then the walk off by Bergman, who I do not like. Probably my least favorite player right now. Former Ranger Nick Williams. I think he was doing okay. He was doing solid in the minors, but I don't know if he did well last year. Uh, also a former Ranger for about a week. Carlos Asuaje. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly. He's actually playing in Korea, I believe, right now. But uh, could have been a Ranger. I guess he just wanted to go raise his value somewhere else because I think they only gave him a minor league contract. Daniel Murphy, not a former Ranger, fortunately, because I would cry if we traded him. He's pretty good. He was right in the thick of that batting average race. I th I thought he won it. Um, it must have been um. He must have just been close or something. I don't remember. Jed Lowry, long time Oakland A, except that one time he was on the Astros. He's not bad, honestly. He's pretty solid. Jonathan Scope, another good young second baseman. Definitely uh, reminds me of an Odor type dude, except he can he can hit for some decent average. Not that Odor can't, but like this season right here, two ninety three, driven in thirty or driven in one hundred five, hit thirty two home runs. That's insane. That's a solid season for a young dude. He's born in ninety one. Which makes him 27, I think. Gary Sanchez, the Kraken. He's, uh, they give him too much crap in New York, man. I think he's okay. Better than most catchers nowadays. Chris Tillman, not a good baseball player. Career A of 4.43. Awful 2017, it looks like. Jay Bruce. I think he's on Seattle now because he got traded. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Dropped my phone there. Split off the table. Hello, Rolly. To oh, my God. Switch the camera. Hey, guys. Didn't mean to switch that camera. Rolly2911. What's going on? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. This is just, I don't know why this slipped. Okay, we'll go with that for now. Jay Bruce, I think he's on Seattle now. So, he's not a bad dude at all. AJ Pollock, now that's one heck of an outfielder right there. Can't really beat that. 806 career OPS. I think he's just been injured a lot is the main problem. Yeah, he doesn't play a whole lot of games. Six years, he's had 524 games. So, not the best. Chase Anderson, he's underrated. Yeah, 2.74 in 2017. He's definitely good. Busta Busta Posey kind of fell off a little bit, but looks like he did okay in 17. He did great in 17, but I know last year I think he was off a little bit. He's just catching so hard to have longevity in. Logan Forsyth. I think he's like a utility guy or something. Not sure. Probably mostly second base, though. He's been there for the Dodgers World Series appearances, though, so he's not, not bad at all. This guy, he's good. Eugenio Suarez. Young third baseman. Very, very nice numbers he puts up. All right, got a couple cards left here, guys. Johnny Cueto. He kind of fell off a little bit. Yeah, 17 with the Giants, he did not do well. But his prime was definitely 
with the Reds and the Royals, even though he had his worst ERA, um, at least that they show on here when they went to the World Series twice. Or no, he wasn't there in 14. He was just there in 15. Uh, one of my favorite players, Nolan Arenado. Don't think it will happen, but I really want them to sign him in the offseason next year. Because he is insane. Probably going to end up, dare I say, being better than Beltre. Just because look at these insane numbers he puts up. Averaging 290. It's only got 148 home runs. Like If he keeps putting those numbers up, he's definitely going to end up statistically being better than Beltre. And of course his insane defense. Dexter Fowler. Eh, mixed opinions about him. He left the Cubs, and then it's just been, eh. Did okay in 17, but should have probably stuck with the Cubs because they still went to the, or they played a game 163. David Dahl, not a fan of just because he owns the Rangers. Uh, doesn't even show his, oh, no, he played in 16. I think it was 17 that he was, like, owning us because they actually played Colorado came to Texas to play which doesn't happen a lot all right got Mike Leak another uh interesting character he goes up and down all the time Danny Duffy I don't even think he plays anywhere anymore because he had that whole DUI incident not sure though, I might be thinking of someone else. So you go Danny Duffy. And we got two cards left. Just gonna show you all both. We got Alex Wood and Troy Tulowitzki. Newest Yankee. Troy Tulowitzki, actually. He's just been injured too much. That's been the problem. He hasn't been amazing since he was with the Rockies. But he just keeps getting injured, man. Like in 91 games in 2014, he still put up some good numbers, but. He just gets injured way too much. And last but not least, Alex Wood. The newest Cincinnati Red, Alex Wood, actually. Got traded in the huge Puig and, uh, what's his name? Oh my gosh. Uh, Homer Bailey. Homer Bailey. He was part of that trade. He's actually solid as well. So there you have it, folks. 72 cards. We just went through here today. Blam. Blam. Yeah, Kemp was in that trade too. It was Puig, Kemp, Alex Wood, couple prospects going to the Reds for uh Homer Bailey and I think maybe like one other dude. But they were just trying to dump salary. Both teams were in a way. So seventy two cards. There were some cool ones. Not the Astros one. I don't know where that Rangers one went, but that was really cool. Um, hoping to get a trout card one of these days, but this is my first ever set of new players, so I cannot complain. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the stream here today. It's going to be up on YouTube where y'all can give me some feedback. Still working on a setup for doing card videos because I want to do more in the future. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to be using these two books. In my collection, which, by the way, I'd recommend both of these great books. This is by Ryan Spader and uh, Kevin Reavy on Twitter. They actually made this. And this one, I don't remember who this is by. Let's see. Rusty Burson. Uh, but it's, this part's written by Eric Nadell in there. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, this is going to be on YouTube for y'all to enjoy. And, uh... Remember that. Um, I'm just rambling at this point, so I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you later.